Hi, and welcome back to the Hopewell Vibe. I'm Zay, and this is my partner, Brianna. Let's get this party started. So for our first segment, we're going to be doing Around the School. I am a full-time actress. I'm a director. I am a um, ghostwriter. When I go write other people's stuff and put their name on it, and they, you know, take care of me. And um, did I say director? I was watching a video she did. Um, I, I realized she started uh, acting when she was eight. That's because my dad made me sing in the choir, and every time they would give me a lead song, I would cry, and he still made me sing it. The, I produce my shows, and sometime I do have a promoter, and the way that we do it, we make sure that all our ducks are in a row, know what show we're going to do, when we're going to do it, the time that we're going to do it, have our cast in place, and choose what city we want to do our show in and go for what we know. That play is going to be on the, um, and here at Hopewell. Um, so I think it should be pretty good. And, and she's directing us the play. Professional people come in the building to be part of uh, the acting uh, function of the show. My thoughts on the kids of this generation? I believe that the kids in this generator are absolutely amazing. So The Well was created by the Office on Youth, which is a program um, put in place by our city council. And then our beloved superintendent, Dr. Hackney, decided to take it upon herself to be able to um, be in charge of The Well. So she went to city council and asked if The Well could be placed up under her and the school board, and then The Well was created. You know, with COVID coming, a lot of the younger generation goes through a lot of, have a lot of different things going on, anxiety, depression, and they really need someone that they can look up to or need someone to be able to talk to. The um, city council still gives the well $75,000 a year. They vote every year to um, have youth programs for the city. But our new generation now, they find new and innovative ways to be able to get what they want earlier in life. Um, all I would like to say in all honesty is that, you know, I'm glad that the turnout for the well has grown since we first opened up. You know, when we first opened up, we was only servicing like 200 kids, basically a month. Now we get slightly over a thousand a month. So it's growing a lot. So we're able to, to get out to more students, get, get them more. One of the things that I would love to add is everyone that gets to see this interview, hear this interview, read this interview, Take the time to do something kind for someone today, whether you know them or don't know them. Do something kind. Give a hug to someone that may need it. That may be the only hug they get that entire day. So for our next segment, we're going to be focusing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Hello, hello, and welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, where we find out if you are truly smarter than a fifth grader. Today, I'm here with my girlfriend, Savannah Collins. And today, Savannah, do you, do you honestly think you're smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. I do. All right. Your question is, what is the name for a main character in a TV series or movie? Main character. Question. What would you call the central character of a story or a plot? A protagonist. Yep. What would you call the central character of a story or plot? The protagonist? Correct. Do you believe you're smarter than a fifth grader? Probably not. <laughs> okay, D. The question is, what is the name for the main character of a story or plot? It's a antagonist. Is it an Wait, I don't know. What would you call the central character of a story or plot? A protagonist. Correct. What is the, what is the name of a character in a show? What do you call them? The main character. The protagonist. You, correct. What would you call the central character of a story or plot? Like the primary person? Uh, no, the answer is protagonist. What would you call the central character of a story or plot? The main character? Uh, the protagonist. <laughs> This week's staff spotlight will be highlighting our very own Spanish teacher, Miss Felix. Uh, 
I went to a job fair. I got a job offer at Howell and also at Petersburg, but I decided for Howell because this is where I live. And besides, I thought it would be easier for me to help people if I'm around then. Well, I tried to teach them conversation, how to have a regular conversation, like, how are you, how are you doing? If they listen to someone talking Spanish, I want them to feel comfortable listening to them. I used to live in Puerto Rico before, and I used to work at a high school, but I was the secretary there. I also would like to say, Brianna, muchas, muchas gracias por tomarme en cuenta y gracias a todos ustedes por tenerme acá. And that's going to do it for today's Hope All Vibe. 